Hello everybody, it's me Ace Pilot 109 also known as Captain John, and in this video I'm going to be showing off my brand new auto gyro. Off of Facebook Marketplace. Now I'm going to fix it up and see how well it flies. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is actually replace this connector for the battery. Got that now wired up, so I'm going to plug it in. Hopefully it doesn't explode. I'm going to start programming it. I was doing a little thrust test and the motor just came right out of the mount. I think I'll be able to lock it in and to fix it. So I was able to retighten those with the little Allen key. Pins that motor in and they were both completely loose. So it's a good thing I checked that. So the last thing I need to figure out before this auto gyro can fly is these rotor blades. So these rotor blades actually have a pretty cool little mechanism where if they hit the ground, they'll simply swing back instead of breaking. This works because one pin is a screw that holds the rotor blade on and the other one is just a wood dowel that just keeps it from rotating. So if the rotor blade hits the ground, that dowel will simply break and give way and allow the rotor blade to stay intact. So I need to figure out what size dowels these are. They look just like toothpicks. So I figured out that those little dowels are actually just regular sized toothpicks. And I also went ahead and tied these bolts so that the rotor blades are a little bit tighter on there. So now we're going to go for the maiden flight. I fixed everything I know how to fix and now I'm just going to see if I'm able to fly it out here in this grass field so if I crash hopefully it's less damaging but let's just go for it and see what happens. So that sticks all the way over so it doesn't respond to the controls very quickly but that makes sense since there's no control surfaces on it. It's in the wind right there. I'm gonna cut the power back and see how it auto rotates. Oh, so without power, it loses its control, which makes sense because there are no control surfaces. That rotor is actually doing all the control. Oh, the wind's trying to grab it. Oh, wow. Very interesting flying machine. Here's full power. Okay, I guess I'm doing a loop-de-loop -loop now. Oh, the rotor blade completely stopped. Ah. Okay, I shouldn't do that. All right, I'm going to try and land here. Oh, that is weird looking. Well, everybody, that's it for now for this auto gyro project. It was awesome to be able to find this and actually be able to fly it. I was very afraid of crashing it, but as soon as it took off and just flew right out of my hand, I knew that this thing was going to be awesome. Some more practice, I will make a part two video to this showing you how to fly an auto gyro. This aircraft is absolutely awesome as I really enjoy experimental and weird flying machines, and this was right up my alley. And I only had to do a few modifications to get it to work with this system that I have. So if you enjoyed and want to see more aviation content or just see any future projects that I work on, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to help my channel grow. And I hope to see all of y'all in the very next video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you later.